that the Senate do receive and consider the report of the Committee on Establishment and Public Service on the South East Development Commission, etc. Bill 2018, SB 303. I so move, Mr. President. Mr. So Solomon. Senate Committee on Establishment and Public Service on a bill for an act to establish the South East Development Commission and for other matters connected there to SB 303. Preamble. The South East Development Commission, a separate bill, was sponsored by distinguished Senator Samuel Ayawan. The bill was read the first time on Wednesday, 22nd, June 2016. The Senate has its plenary on 7th June referred the bill to the Committee of Establishment and Public Service for further legislative action. Objective of the bill. The objective of the bill, in our view, are as follows. The bill seeks to establish a commission to be saddled with the responsibility of managing and administering funds received from the Federation account for the purpose of reinvigorating and harnessing the commercial potential as well as the overall social socioeconomic development of the Southeast Zone. Secondly, it, it seeks to establish a development aim at reconstructing. Sorry, point of order, Chief Whip. Mr. President, to call our attention to Order 56 pertaining to the behavior of senators in the Senate. Order 56, subsection 9 says, when a senator is speaking, no senator may converse aloud or make any noise or disturbance to interrupt him. Order 10 says, during a sitting, all senators shall be silent or shall confer only in undertones, including those who used to be governors. All right, the order is sustained. Please, let us uh, conduct ourselves in a way. The bill seeks to establish a development master plan that will give rise to massive infrastructural development aimed at reconstructing and rehabilitating roads and bridges as well as addressing the devastating menace of erosion and other environmental and developmental ch challenges in the zone. The committee, in addition to several meetings, conducted the public hearing. Mr. President, the Senate President, in declaring this public hearing open, did emphasize that the Southeast Development Commission Bill is aimed at developing the commercial potential of the Southeast and to have an enhanced infrastructural development in the region. He expressed confidence that the bill will stimulate robust contribution from stakeholders as witnessed during the debate on the general principle of the bill on the floor of the Senate. Mr. President, let me just go straight to observation and, uh, and findings. My colleagues can follow me to page nine on the report. Observations from findings. The stakeholders generally supported the passage of the bill and urged the National Assembly to speedily pass it into law. Two, that the legislative initiative by the National Assembly is an important bolster aimed at addressing developmental challenges and the social economic well-being of the Southeast. That the passage of the bill will no doubt lead to rest the incessant clamor and agitations from various quarters for secession movement rising from incessant complaints of neglect, marginalization, 
and infrastructural decay in the zone, thereby engendering peace and ensure the unity and oneness of this country. That the National Assembly, which is the birth of democracy, will be seen to be alive to its responsibility of making laws for the peace and good governance of the Federation as enshrined in the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended with the passage of this bill. Mr. President, dear colleagues, this and this note that the Senate Committee on Establishment and Public Service to which this bill was referred to have not carefully considered say recommends as follows that the Senate do consider and pass the Southeast Development Commission Establishment etc. Bill 2017 as amended. I so move, Mr. President. In conclusion, I am so pleased and let me commend the committee for producing a very beautiful report. Mr. President, since the administration of the APC started in 2015, our desire has been to give the Southeast that lift to the next level. Amen. Today, yes. today, the second Niger Bridge, Mr. President, today the second Niger Bridge is about 50% completion. Mr. President, Mr. President, first, please listen to the leader in silence, please. Mr. President, for 16 years, that party deceived the people of the Southeast. Even, even when there was an attempt to give to bribe a former president with a name indigenous to that section of the country, they didn't do anything. This administration will not only ensure that this commission is created, but fund it and take the Southeast to the next level. Yeah. This is my contribution. Thank you for the privilege. Shem Sani, Sabi, and uh, well, Mr. Uh, Mr. President, I I must commend the authors of this bill and the painstaking effort of those who invested so much time and energy to see to its fruition. And uh, based on what the leader says, I think the next level is for the leader to ensure the president signed this bill. And that now became a reality. Uh, Mr. President, this bill will formally bring to an end the decades of reality and perception of marginalization of the northeastern part of Nigeria, uh, southeastern part of Nigeria. And it is of gratitude that senators from the southeast have, in the last few years, been able to support the establishment of the Northeastern Development Commission. Uh, the setting up of this commission in the Southeast will help address local issues and historic issues that have, for a very long time, challenged our unity, our peace, and stability as a nation. That part of the country will benefit a lot in terms of developmental contributions. And also, the other parts of Nigeria will also derive benefit from this commission in the sense that we will be well pleased that 
the civil war and its attendant crisis have been squarely addressed with a commission. Uh, the greatest service we can do as parliamentarians is to leave behind institutions that will outlive us as a people and as representatives. One that will for generations address the problems of the past and also address the problems of the future. The Eighth Senate will mark its place in history as one that has been able to establish a commission that will address the problems, the crises, and the challenges that have occasionally destabilized this country and also question our unity as a people. I 100% align myself with this bill and hopefully that in the next few weeks. Aligned himself, it would have been of no consequence because we are not at second reading. We're already just committing this report. And I want to rise to say that I totally accept this report and I'm confident that the leader will do everything to assist the presiding officers to cooperate with the president, not only on this bill, but on all bills in the best interest of this country. Thank you very much. Mr. Abinta. As I am in total support of this establishment of this uh, commission, I just want to draw the attention when we we'll go into the clause by clause to consider the bill that has been passed and assented to by the president on the Northeast Development Commission, that it has a life span. So whatever we are going to do in all the commissions, we should take into cognizance that the Northeast Development uh, Commissions that we pass has a lifespan, and it has to follow pari pursue. Put it again, sir, that there are other regions that are coming with a similar commission, so that what we do, we have a same lifespan, not for us now to do one a center two and another one with the differentials in the lifespan. I think that is the notice of the information. The report, which is very beautifully crafted, there are one or two points we must take note of when we come to look at the clause by clause, you know, uh, you know, component of the of the bill, and this is to say that this commission should be seen as an opportunity to tap from that very veritable technical skills and knowledge that the you know southeasterners are very well known for, and I think in the report that was properly captured, and uh, to say that we should begin to use this to position the hub or the clusters of industrial and technological activities in a manner that at the end of the day, we should begin to talk about something in the mold of the Silicon Valley by saying perhaps, is it the Abba Valley, with due respect to whatever is on ground. So that at the end of the day, the commission is coming in. If at the end of the day it's going to have a lifespan, let it have a lifespan that at the end, it is giving back to something that can be used to launch this country into great technological heights. I therefore concur with all the things that have been said. Very leader. Time limit. Just like we did for the Northeast. This one is too open-ended. And it may be there forever. It's uh, page two. Clause four. I think the 10 years that was there uh, initially should be retained. Clause four, page two. I'm trying to get the self confession that I'll Oh, that is one four, sorry. Clause one four. Page two. That, that uh, the president may subject to the approval of of the National Assembly wind up the commission. I am saying that what was there initially, the president may subject to the approval of the National Assembly wind up the commission after 10 years. So, so there should be that time limit, sir.
Comme ça. On the right hand side. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, to retain it. Let's retain the original one. Yeah, we retain the original one. Excuses of the establishment of the Northeast Commission was as a result of the calamity, the surgency. As a result of the surgency, Southeast has started, you know, started having their own problem before after the war. And now, in, this, in the Northeast, because of the international uh, uh, intervention, a lot of fund has come into that project. Added billions in dollars. Excuse me, in dollars. In dollars. Excuse me. In dollars. So, uh, so, so, okay. So that they said after 10 years. That's what is inside now. So after 10 years, sir. And sir, please, what we are now saying is now, when we started with this Northeast Development Commission, Yes, because of the destructions that was unleashed on uh, um, the Northeast. Here, when we are discussing this bill, Senator Gaia now said it has an effect on them. Senator Husseini Jerry, I mean Jerry, made mention of North Central. Now, if we are now going to look at the six geopolitical zones, which obviously the South South has been taken care of through the NDDC. What we are saying, sir, let's have those things indirect. So that once if this 10 years elapses and we now know that, yes, we have seen the uh, developmental uh, impact. impact, then obviously we can now sit and re amend. But when we do Northeast and the Southeast now comes with a different motion and all this, and obviously we will not have cohesion. What I'm saying, it should be within 10 years, sir. Within. Clause one four as amended, that is after ten years, stamp out of B say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The ayes have it. So we now go set clause clause two, okay, go ahead. The whole thing is just circulating within the southeast, but this is a federal institution. I think we should have other representatives from other zones on the board. That is my suggestion, and that's what has happened in the Northeast Development Commission, and that's what happened in the NDDC. Where? 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 I'm reading it. No, no, no. In addition to those ones, no. In addition to those ones, there will be a presidential approval, appointment. Those are ex-official members. Part of the Northeast. It was very obvious, and even that of the NDDC. We have to have one person from the other geopolitical zones, yes. one person on the board. Yes. This is because at the end of the day, what we are doing is, even though it's in the Southeast, our understanding is that everybody who is a Nigerian stands to benefit. Because if I find myself in the Southeast, of course, whatever beneficial thing is there is, is a federal institution. So I think this will give credence to what is happening. So You're I right. think that should be You're right. From Lagos, I hereby rise to support the amendment being brought in by Senator Sabi that Abdullah that all the other geopolitical zones be represented in the commission. I so second. On the board, please. The Niger Data Development Commission. All the zones are not represented. What happens is that the president nominates persons, maybe two, three persons, to represent different interests in the board. Not that every zone, not that every zone is represented. So that, that is not the right uh, uh, position in the uh, NDDC. The president can nominate maybe two persons or three persons to represent certain interests. That is the position. The other geopolitical zones who have one representative at the board say aye. Those against say nay. <laughs> the equivalent of 
of the total monthly statutory allocations due to the member states of the Commission from the Federation account, this being the contribution of the federal government to the Commission. I think, first, we should try and ensure that the states will concur, number one, and then if, we are deduct if the money is to be deducted from the states, it cannot be part of the, com uh, the contribution of the, of the federal government. It cannot be. Because the monies we, uh, uh, originally will belong to the states. The eye. Those against say nay. The eyes have it. He said the ecological fund is to be administered by the federal government. The, the, it is, the, the, it then, this very distinguished colleague, and I want to say that I have been following with rapt attention the content of this bill. And I want to say that this bill is tailored along the line of the Northeast Development Commission. Yeah. And all that has been raised in terms of funding, if we go into the Northeast Development Commission, has exactly a resemblance of what is contained in that document. I'm coming, I'm coming, smart. The issue of 10%, the, that by, by the definition, is equivalent. The 25% uh, ecological fund, we know that there is a certain fund called the Ecological Fund Account. And what this bill tends to tell us is this. 25% of any amount at any point in time accruing to the member states. Due to them. Due to, I'm coming, I'm coming, sir. We agree that the Ecological Fund is a pool account of 3% of the federal allocation. Now, when it is time for any of these member states to benefit and we all know that one of the regions that is ecologically challenged is the southeast area. So any member states that have applied for this ecological fund, 25% of whatever you applied to must go to the commission. Yes, the must go to the commission. That is it. Yes. yes. What, yes. What they will. Senator Ali will amen, but I just want to shed some light. Uh, ecological fund is administered. And only the president approves of this. So if we pass this the way it is couched, it's likely to present a problem for implementation. Because how do you determine 25% when the fund can only be used or administered or released based on needs from time to time? So it's not like the approval will be given to all the states at the same time, so you will know 25%. If a state has uh, an ecological uh, situation that requires federal government intervention, it is at that point that it gets money from the ecological fund. So I, I, we need to think and find a way around this, because the way it is, it's going to be difficult implementing the, but the application. Of any monies approved to member states of the Commission from the Ecological Fund. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, based on the explanations now, at any point in which a particular fund is due to the South, to, to the states, we are saying you take 25% of it and give to the Commission. That's just what we are saying. That, that's why we are saying 25% of any monies approved for the member states from the Ecological Fund. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman and my distinguished colleague, of what was contained in the previous bill, if we made a mistake then, we should not make the same mistake. Instead, we should borrow from the wisdom that some of our colleagues are lending us. Let me give an illustration. God forbid, suppose there is a crisis, ecological crisis, Nanambra, and on account of that, the president decides to give a fund to address that crisis, Nanambra, you now say 
don't give everything to an arm brow, regardless of that urgent crisis, first take 25% and give to the commission, who may now decide not to spend everything in Ambra, that must not be the intention of where we are trying to do. I think, as the leader says, we must tread very carefully in couching the language of this section. My suggestion is we should be expunged, quite frankly. If we made a mistake in the Northeast, we should correct it. What is the procedure for accessing the ecological fund? From my understanding, a state government will identify an area of erosion or any ecological problem. Then they will call a contractor to give them an estimate of how much that uh, repair will cost. So are we now saying that after that contractor gives us the estimation, we are now going to add 25% on top of it? Or deduct. Or deduct 25% out of the contract so that the contractor won't be paid adequately? So that is the way the uh, ecological fund has been administered. So it's not possible to now say you are adding 25% to it. Uh, it's a very simple one. It's a very simple matter. Part of the major reason why we are considering is establishing a commission for the Southeast is because of the very serious ecological challenges that face the region. You will recall, Mr. Chairman, at one point when Senator Ma Oabunwa raised the issue of uh, soil erosion, I said that that region should be designated as a special type of region because of the nature of its soils and the nature of the very monumental erosion problem that is devastating the entire area. So instead of talking about taking a certain percentage of what states get, the ecological fund is a discretionary fund, which is administered based on needs and application from state to attract particular kinds of uh, problems. So what I'm suggesting is that there's an ecological fund, and we know the ecological challenges of the region. Why not say that 1% of the ecological fund should go to that commission. One percent of the total collection under the ecological fund should go to that commission to address the peculiar ecological challenges of the region. Instead of talking about what accrues, because what accrues can change from time to time, and it is not uh, something that you can daily talk about. I, no, no, no. I have my colleagues. I support the motion heavily brought by Dr. Blight. Yeah, yeah that 1% of the ecological fund should be given to the commission for operation. When? Thank you very much. When? Yes, and uh, the eyes have it. So I can now put the question for 15 together. Do you support that clause 15 as amended stamp part of the bill? Say aye. aye. Just again saying uh, the eyes have it. Clause 16 and 17. Do you support that? The board shall hold office for a term of four years. And then we said... Uh, the office of the chairman of the commission shall rotate among the member states of the commission in the following order. And then we said the, if the uh, chairman can serve for only four years, and then we have five states, it means only two states or two and a half states will benefit from having a chairman. So because chairman. If, if there is no problem, then. No, after five, five states, it means we have the tenure of the commission is 10 years. You can have only two chairmen. No, it means the states, only Abia and Ambra states will have a chairman. The other states will not have any chairman. Yes. The Senate, in the Committee of the Whole, consider the report of the Committee on Establishment and Public Service on the Southeast Development Commission, etc., Establishment, etc., Bill 2018, and approved as follows. Clauses 1 to 2 as amended, 3 to 14 as recommended, 15 as amended, 16 to 30 as recommended, 7 as recommended, as many as as recommended, short title as recommended, long title as recommended. Is this a true reflection of what transpired in the Committee of the Whole? Thank you. Senate Leader. Mr. President. I'm saying aye. Because I guess the eyes have it.
lack of senate. This is colleagues, a bill for an act established the Southeast Development Commission to serve as a catalyst to develop the commercial potential of the Southeast, receive amended funds from allocation of the Federation for the rehabilitation, reconstruction, and reparation for housing and lost businesses of victims of the Civil War, and address any other environmental or developmental challenges for, and for related matters third time, third reading taken and passed. Well, distinguished colleagues, let me thank each and every one of us today. I think this is one of these days we should be proud of ourselves as senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Every morning, we pray that God should give us the grace to do only those things that will promote the peace and unity of this country. I believe that we have shown today that we are committed to the unity of this country. It is this unity that ensures that we all have faith in our country, Nigeria. And this faith will help us to pursue peace and progress. So once more, I'd like to thank all of us for this commitment to the unity of Nigeria and for our commitment to the progress of all parts of Nigeria. May God bless Nigeria. Mr. Leader.